Welcome back my friends, my name is OmniFlash and I will be your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today's video will be a breaking the meta video. Instead of a tank, a healer, and a bunch of DPS, we are going to have three healers, one tank, two DPS, okay? That is because in this particular dungeon, we will need all the heals, all the reses that we can get. This guy will be a healing guide, plus a guide to Mirage Floor 11 through 15, which gives the same prizes. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment below. To be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on November 15, 2019. Remember, in Mirage, be sure to do Floor 6 and Floor 11 Floor 16 and so on because Floor 11 has the same prize as Floor 15. Now you might want to settle for Mirage 6 but I'm telling you Mirage 11 is doable but you need a solid team and you need your team to know what to do. I got almost 2 million gold from these two runs okay. Now the recommended Battle rating is 380,000, all right, but it doesn't have to be. My battle rating is way below that, 196k, okay? That is like half. I have half the battle rating, but we can do this because we have the sustain from three healers, okay? Three healers plus my goblin pet. My goblin pet will keep me alive so that I will be able to revive my other two healers who will keep the rest of the team alive so we are going to do this and the reason that this boss this mirage is so hard is because of the prefix for this week one of the prefixes is, is irrita irri irrita irritability irritability which is just stupid it makes the boss 30 percent the uh, stronger it just the boss hits 30% harder when it has less than 40% health and it is even worse because the bosses in the cave of treasures already enraged they already get stronger at 20% health so so at first the bosses get stronger at 40% health then they get even stronger at 20% health so basically once it gets down to 20% health they start one-shotting everybody so this is a very tough dungeon, but if you watch this video, you might learn how to block, how to cheat burst, how to dodge these attacks and win and get the prize that you deserve. Over almost 2 million gold. Okay, this is this is with half the recommended battle rating. All right, so this video will also be a healing guide in addition. So what I recommended for you, if you look at my S grade Eidolon guide, it will show you how to make a goblin. All right, so the goblin saves my life several times in this video, and it will save yours as well. As a healer, I have a friend who got a Spitfire, and this Spitfire is not going to help you. <laughs> If you are dead now this goblin will save my life several several times so check out that s grade eidolon guide in my channel if you need help making your goblin strong enough okay so the, what the goblin does it actually provides a damage shield and if you die it actually revives you it just you don't die you just you're, you stay alive with like one point of hp but since you're a healer if you run away, you can heal yourself up and, uh, and then revive the other healers. Alright, so right now I'm just healing everybody. And you want to spam. You want to spam your iron hearts, okay? Iron hearts, spam everybody with iron hearts. Build your chi up. See those on the ground? Another prefix for today's Mirage is there's a lot of fear okay on the ground there's going to be red circles those red circles will fear you and what fear does it just makes you run around now I think it makes you run around every half a second or every 0.75 seconds so most of my skills are one second long 
So the only skill that you are able to use while feared is Iron Heart. So if you have Iron Heart, you can still throw Iron Hearts at people because uh, Iron Heart is very fast and I think it does not get interrupted if you are moving. The other skills you cannot actually use while feared. So whenever you see somebody feared, it is important to unfear them. Scorch is not as important to dispel, but if someone is feared, especially if your tank is feared, the tank might start moving away from the party. And when that happens, you can't heal the tank because your spells do have a range, so do unfear your tanks and unfear the other healers as soon as you can. Now these warlocks from Old Capital do deal quite a bit of damage when they get below 40% health. And that is because of that modifier. All monsters below 40% health deal 30% more damage. So you see those fire tornadoes? We want to sort of sort of stay away from those. Those cause you to get scorched. Now, also, these warlocks need to be killed immediately. They do deal a lot of damage. They just, like spit rocks at you and they hurt. See, not only, uh, yeah, got hit by one of those warlocks, but we revived her and now we're moving on. So you gotta follow, you follow that team because the team is knows what to do, right? They watch this video and you've got to practice and you, you, you keep following the team and destroy all, all of these warlocks. And once you got them, you once again, focus on Linus. It is very important to actually keep everyone on three stacks of iron heart keep everyone on three stacks of iron heart so that they will regen very quickly even if they are hit so some people are getting scorched just gotta try to dodge those fire tornadoes so that you don't get overwhelmed by the amount of damage that you are taking so these these uh fire cyclone all right so he's doing fire cyclone again just gotta get out of the way Try not to take too much damage, but while you're doing this, you still have to watch the floor if you see those red circles coming up. If you see a red circle coming up, you need to move out of the way. You need to move out of the way of those fire cyclones You hit the jump button, okay? Just be ready to hit the jump button when you are mid-cast. Like if you have a spell that takes two seconds long, you just gotta be able to jump out. Alright, so you see, I was using Dodge Wrath so that we can deal a little bit more damage because Mirage is timed, right? I only have 10 minutes left and uh, you have to have a perfect run, perfect run to do this. And uh, these these old capital warlocks hurt, alright? So, so when they spawn, you, you, you can't actually be using Wrath, you gotta be healing. So did you just see that? I went from 100% health down to 0% health, then back up to 3% health. All right, so that isn't, it, that isn't one of the sacred books. It isn't that sacred red tide or whatever sacred book. It isn't that book, it was my goblin. My goblin resurrected me and gave me just a teeny bit of HP, which allowed me to heal back up, all right? So my goblin saved me one time already. We're gonna watch that and see how many times Goblin saves me. Alright, so I mean, right now, Linus is now 20% HP. You can see that little bar right there, 20% HP. So he has a good 30% attack buff when he got 40% HP. Now, he has an additional, I guess, probably another 20% and another 30% because he's enraged. And he, he just he just blows me up because my my goblin my goblin skill has not has not refreshed yet. But that's alright. Because I died. Another healer died. But we still have one more healer. Not only is actually still alive. And that's all we need. Just one healer, one tank, one DPS. And we make it through. So as soon as Linus dies, revive immediately. And as you are re as you are running back, start iron, iron, uh, iron harding yourself, iron harding your friends.
just build that chi up. That's all that you need to do. You need to build up that chi so that you can use chi burst to block damage, okay? So whenever you see that you are taking damage and if it doesn't kill you in one hit, you will be able to chi burst and block the second hit and stay alive, all right? So chi burst is very important. You have to use chi burst whenever uh, whenever you start losing HP, hopefully the hits do not one hit you and you are able to chi burst before you die. Alright, so these mobs are actually not too hard. You just gotta watch that floor, okay? Watch those floors, make sure you dodge those red circles or you will be feared. Now the Tempest right here is pretty tough. What you want to do is everybody needs to get on the platform and then the tank will move to the bottom of that platform so we are just in range all right so all these circles get out of the circles you don't want to be feared and uh, just 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 tank the boss at the stairs and this way you can still damage the boss and heal the tank and heal yourselves so you want the team to be kind of all together. This way when those red circles form, they form right underneath the players. So you don't want the players to spread out or red circles will be on the entire platform. So if everyone stands together, they can just move from the right side to the left side, from the left side to the right side. Now when you are casting spells, you can't move. In order to interrupt your spell, be sure to hit that jump button. Now, I'm not able to cancel. I just didn't do it fast enough. I think it was lag. I just I just couldn't cancel it. There just wasn't enough time. I don't know why. I think I think sometimes you do get lag and it it just you just can't cancel it fast enough and you get feared. Now, when you get feared, like I said, I think the only skill I was able to continue to use use iron heart. So, you still use Iron Heart. Now you want to have maintain a high amount of chi because for this particular boss, you need to. All right, it says right there, use your defensive uh, skills and cooldown. That means he's about to start just doing massive damage, and he is still above 50% HP. So that means no one is dying completely. Everyone's like, it's like his attack is taking about 30% of HP off. Now a minute ago. What we did is we did regeneration. Now, regeneration does block some of that damage. However, you can't move. As a cleric, you can still move while you are in regeneration. So be sure to move out of those red circles. He's going to throw those red circles down. And if you're regenerating in a red circle, it's going to fear you and knock you out of your regeneration bubble. And uh, a minute ago, Lord died, uh, but we revived her, so we are at full strength again. Okay, Tempest, right now, use your defensive cooldown. So he is about to start blowing people up, and he does. Lord gets two hit. I got two hit. God got two hit. So everyone is dying because Tempest is now less than 40 HP. I just died, and Goblin saved me. Again, so Goblin has saved me twice. So I am now able to revive God. Now Fat Cat has died. I am also be I am able to revive Fat Cat. Alright, now Changi died. I am now able to revive Changi. Okay? So so this this goblin is nice for, as a healer. It may not allow you to heal faster, but it allows you to live. It's like an extra life, alright? So you get an extra life. Your extra life is the equivalent of an extra life for God, and an extra life for Fat Cat, and an extra life for Changi. And because of all those extra lives, we have almost a full team. All right, all right. Right now, the Tempest is actually doing his super AOE move that you know kills everybody again. I know uh, we we were able to cheapers. We were able to block that damage. Okay. So when you whenever it says use your defensive cooldown, it says up top in a in a strip 
says use your defensive cooldown skills. You want to start, you know, use like cheaper or something that blocks damage so that you don't get too hit. All right, so on the ground, also watch out, don't get feared, and just stay alive long enough. Oh, how much time do we have left? We still have two minutes, 46 seconds. All right, so even with three healers, we were still able to take out this dungeon and have over almost three minutes. Yes, over two minutes, almost three minutes left over. Now remember, chi burst is important. You want to keep your chi high. You want to continue to use your skills, use good food. Make sure you have enough chi for chi burst whenever it flashes on screen for like half a second. It says use your defensive skills. And regeneration kind of works. It kind of blocks 20% of the damage. And also, you really need to, um, you really need to, you really need to use Chi Burst because regeneration may not save that cleric. The cleric may have regeneration up. And I think, I think that cleric will still die, especially when when Tempest is under 20% HP. That magnification of 30% more attack and then even more attack. I think another 20% attack when it's a rage. Just way too much damage and. Uh, and even a regenerating cleric will die. So, chi burst is very, very good. Try to have enough chi to chi burst one second after it says to use your defensive skills. I hope this video helps you get great loot, just like I did. I got almost 2 million gold worth of loot, as well as uh, what do you think? Do you like these type of videos? It's breaking the meta. I just, we beat this dungeon and I had half the battle rating needed. Comment below, let me know what you think. Wow, that was fun.